I'm backing up my truck, I'm gonna hook it up, loading up my boat with all my gear. I've been working hard all week, trying to make ends meet, spending time wishing I was fishing. Oh, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. Gather up your gear and come along. Well, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. This is Terry Wickstrom. Join Karen Collum, Greg Collagio, and me as we take you to some of our favorite fishing spots from Colorado to Minnesota, the Arctic Circle to Central America and beyond. As we revisit episodes of Mountain States Fishing and Angling Adventures Television on the best of fishing with Terry Wickstrom. We're up here at Lake John. We're going to go ice fishing. Spent the night at the resort up here. We're going to go in and get Bill who runs the resort. We're going to have a quick cup of coffee, throw on our warm clothes and get out ice fishing. Hey Bill. Hi Terry. Ready? Almost ready to get going? Almost ready, big guy. Just got to throw my, throw my suit on. I had a good night's sleep. Well great. great. Hey, help yourself. And I just stayed in one of the cabins, great facilities, nice and warm, got up, ready to go. Didn't have that long drive up here. Which is, which is nice, where you've got a long ways, we're a little ways out of Denver and that, in the surrounding area, so it's nice and had to come up the night before and, and you'd be all ready to go up to the lake first thing in the morning. Well, let's have a cup of coffee and then we can get our warm clothes on you can join us out on the ice. Sounds good. We're out here today at Lake John. We're, at, we're staying at the Lake John Resort. It's actually um, the 9th of December. We had good ice this year. We've got well over a foot of ice already. They've been catching rainbow trout. Uh, Lake John is just outside of Walden. It's probably a two and a half hour drive out of Denver, two and a half hour drive out of Fort Collins from the Front Rangers, depending on which roads and how you come up here. But uh, it's great summer and winter fishing in this North Park area. There's lots of lakes in this North Park area too. There's Lake John, the Delaney Buttes Lakes, a number of lakes up here. But Lake John is one of the premier fisheries in Colorado, fast growth rate for trout. Right now I'm, I'm in about, maybe just a little deeper than it was the other hole. I'm 10, 13 and a half feet from the bottom of the transducer, so probably closer to 14 feet. And I'm using a Swedish pimple. I don't see any fish, so I'm just jigging aggressively trying to track some in. Bill's actually setting up over there, and we'll move around until we find fish. But right now I'm just trying to draw some in, see if I can get one interested in this spoon. I'm using a pretty good sized Swedish pimple with a lot of flash. It may not be the right lure to catch them on, but I'm hoping I can at least draw one in where I can see some fish activity down there. Well, we got somebody over here landing a fish not very far away from us. Looks like he's got a good fish on. He's really fighting it. Oh, nice rainbow. Nice fish! You know, we're going to go in those nice wood sheds that you have here to rent out to people. Mm -hmm. But I want to show you these, sh these uh, ice fishing shelters made by Fish Trap. Just see what you think of them. Boy, these you know, are nice. And we'll just give you an idea. I mean, there's lots of ways to ice fish. And if you don't want to buy a shed, you come up here and you can rent these beautiful sheds from him and be in comfort. But if you want to move around and go to different lakes and be comfortable, come on, sit down. I'll show you what we got here. Sit right there. Sit on the other side here. And what I've done, I just drilled one hole right now just to show you. I've got my okay. Vexlar in it. I can slide this around. It's a slide. It pulls around really easy. Hold all your gear. All my gear sits gear. right back in here. My heater's there. I can put my Vexlar back there. My ice auger's in there. What? I sit back here. Got nice my unit. got my depth finder right there. Yeah. Sit down. We'll be fishing. And we'll be. I can be down here and set my gloves and stuff down. Keep everything dry. And I didn't clean this hole. Else we get that spoon through. Now, if you're watching, that goes down. We'll actually see my spoon on that uh, on that Vexlar. Oh, we have to turn it up just a little bit. See that red oh, mark yeah. there? Sure. See my spoon jigging? Yep. Now we can go out here fishing, and if it gets cold, all we do is this. Grab the other one inside of pop it over, and we're in shelter. Boy, this is nice. Heater sets this right is there. Nice. 
But now we get ready to move somewhere. You flip this down. We're ready to move. Wheel, wheel my, my rod up. Put everything right Pick behind Pick the sonar here. up in here. Stick this in here. Like this. Set that there. Now there's a tow rope right here. Right here. You can pull this with a snowmobile, but in nice conditions like this, I'm ready to move to another spot in sure. the lake just like sure. this. Absolutely. Like that. These are great units. I have a little bit more trouble than that with the big shanties. So. Well, I know. The big shanties are nice. You're set up. you got a little more comfort, a little more stable. But I tell you what, if you're going to lakes where you want to move around, or like later today, yep. if the fish are here, this is going to be great. Yep. If we have to move around, this is good. If we have to move in or move out or something. We can that, do we some just, things and just yep. do this. And we still got the big shack here to get warm in. It's such a sure. good heater in here. Absolutely. Well, let's get in that comfortable shack, see if we can get some trout. Okay, let's go. Bill, this reminds me of the old days fishing in Minnesota. We grew up, you know, we didn't have the portable shelters and stuff we do now. Oh, yeah. And ice fishing can be just what you want it to be. Um, there's trade-offs in everything you do. Now, you get a big shelter like this, and it's comfortable. It's a windy day today. We're out of the wind. It's comfortable. We're warm. We don't even have to have a heater on because we're out of the wind. We've got a lot more room and a lot more mobility inside here right. and, a, and a more comfort to stand up and stretch and things like that. We sacrifice some mobility with a big shed like this. Exactly, that's as very long, true. As long as we're on fish. Now, the ways you could fish out of a big shed like this is you can fish. If you're not on fish and don't want to move it, you can go outside, drill some holes, fish, come back in and get warm fish. And it's nice to chat, have a cup of coffee, a sandwich while you're fishing, those kind of things. There he is. You got one already? Yep. All right. There he is. Let me get, I'll pull the sonar out of there. I think it's a small one. I guess we're just having... Well, he came in just all of a sudden. We never even yeah, saw him on the sonar. Yeah, we never seen him. Well, it's not a bad one. That didn't take long. No. Now you can have me fishing with a jig right away. I was going to start out with a spoon, but... I just want to release them. You know, we talked about harvesting a few fish um, yesterday, Terry, but I think we'll... Release most I of them? I think we'll release them. Yeah, you know, I'm, I, I'm just here to catch some. If you want to take them. One thing about Lake John is you can keep a few, but um, what's well, a nice rainbow. This, I don't want to handle them too much. But these fish were stocked in here and at this summer they're only five inches long. And here it has been about six months. What a growth and rate. And the growth rate is just phenomenal. Just great. Let's get him back in the well, water. It didn't take long. I mean, we've been fishing for, I was mucking around with it. We've been fishing for five minutes. What is that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And showing me mostly on the Vexlar and yeah. all of a sudden. There was a fish on. And all of a sudden there's a fish on. But here I'll show you what I got. I've got a Swedish pimple. This is a pretty good sized one for trout, really. But, and I've got that, and I'm going to jig that up and down, try to attract him, and then pause it. Jig it up and down and pause it. And then I'll just work that and see if I can get a, the trout cruising by attracted to it. And then when it pauses or falls, see if he'll grab that. There I got one. Oh, man. Right. Tangled in the Vexar cord. Yeah, he was. I was jigging him. I watched him come on the screen. I don't know how many times he swam by that lure. I got my drags a little tight here. Well, see, it's, this looks like a little better fish. It here, could, you right? know, I haven't been ice fishing enough lately to tell you. It's okay. I don't yeah. think it's a monster, but but I might have to help you reach down and land him. because I'm on that Swedish pimple. It's Swedish pimple, and I saw him come in. I jigged him in. I jigged him in, and I watched him. And he was on the screen a bunch of times. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, yeah, it is a nice fish. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Watch your drag. <laughs> you know this light, light gear ice fishing? It's, it's, it's fun. Oh, it is. I got, this happens to be six pound, but a lot of times I'll have four pound or two pound with those little jigs. And I tell you what, you just, you got to play. I tell you what, you get to be a good fisherman. Yes, you do. You learn to play fish. You learn to use a jig. Especially, you've got the potential for an absolute hog in this lake. Oh, I know. I mean, you've got, oh, and you've got, a, this is a pretty nice fish here. If we can get the, once you get the head in the hole, you're in pretty good shape. But you got to get the head. Yeah, up. this this fish will go 17 inches. Oh, okay. I think I can get him. Can you get him? I think so. I'll take him right by the hook. There that's a nice fish. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a 17, 18 inch fish. There, boy. That's a beautiful Good job. That's you got your your yeah. forceps. I'll hold him. Yeah, you can take that. We'll get him back in the water. Swedish pimple with a waxworm. I jigged it. And he came on the screen and he swam away and I jigged it and I'll show you a little bit the action I was using just to show you I caught him. Get him back in the water. Beautiful, healthy right there. Oh, get in there. There he goes. There he goes. Good, Good job. Good Let me show you how we caught that. 
I'll get this up here. You, were, you called him all the way in today, yeah. watching him on the back slide. That's exactly what I did. Now, that's a fish I wouldn't have caught without electronics. Yeah. So what he did was he came in the I jigged this up and down real fast and let it flutter until he came on the screen. And once I saw him on the screen, I stopped and I paused and he swam away. And I jigged it and jigged it and he came back and he wouldn't hit it while I was jigging it and I stopped. Then the last time he came in, I took the rod and I just shook it lightly like this and started raising it. And he saw that getting away slowly, he came and just boom, popped it. Now that's a fish you wouldn't catch with all electronics. Exactly true. Now, what might have happened on that fish that I was lucky is that I could have kept jigging and not saw it and I'd gone over and hit his jig, see? But since I saw it, see, he had the Vexlar before, so he was stealing my fish. <laughs> Let's get some more. That was, that was a nice that fish. That was a real nice fish. Oh, that, that was that's great. A, that's a two-year-old fish there. That was great. Yep. That, uh, well, and good, healthy girth on him, good color. Let's get some more. Let's do it. Because, you know, I'm fishing blind now because he's got my sonar. <laughs> Normally when I fish a jig like this, I have my sonar there so I can tell what's going on. I'm not used to this. I might not be able to fish at all without my sonar. I'll be lost. There you go. Right. I got the transducer out. Yeah, you're taking a little line. You were watching him come in on the side. I watched him come in, yeah. yeah. Isn't that fun? It looks like a pretty good fish. He thinks he is, anyway. Yeah. Oh, he was a flash below the hole like that. Yeah. So much. Isn't that it's a little one. Yeah, he's not too big. He came out of the hole himself. He thinks, he thinks he's a good one, though. It's a nice. They're all nice. I'm trying to lose them for you. There we go. Oh, and the tube jig. Yeah, on a pink one. Switched time. over to a pink tube jig. Well, you need the other There we go. Nice. That's this year's rainbow. Their, tra their yep. planet is non-catchable. Screw up nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. 10, 12-inch fish. Yep. Just a good, healthy yep. fish. You know, how many? Can, you can keep four, right? You can keep four fish. Come up here. Take four if you want to. You know, and there's nothing wrong with taking a few out of this lake. No, no. We'll get this uh, one back in the water. Yep. We're not taking any today. But really, this lake is meant to be at least partially hard. You know, don't be silly about it. Yeah. But come up and take a few as part of the experience. There's nothing wrong with that either here. Well, you know what we've been thinking is that we've... Uh, Caught a number of fish already. Oh, yeah. Right away, it's you know, it's, but it's slowed down a little bit, and the fish may be just cruising through. It may not do any good to move, but we think we might go try to check a few different depths. So going to maybe we're in about 12, 13 feet of water. Go maybe seven to ten, or maybe even try deeper. But try a couple different depths to see if we see some activity. If it, if we do, we can set up there, or we can fish. The weather's pretty nice yet. We'll rest us a little bit and come back, and maybe we'll uh, get some more fish here. But we'll go look around. What we'll do is we'll put in a series maybe three or four holes, and we'll just check some different depths and just see if the fish have moved in a little bit now that we've got some overcast. And I'll follow you with the sonar and check them. I'll fish them right behind you to see if there's any fish in them. What a good guy I am. What a, what a nice guy. And I'll you check tell me in that if there's fish down there, and then I'll get my rod. Okay. We'll get them that way. <laughs> clothing, the shelters, whether portable or stationary, the inexpensive gear you can buy that really can, there's no reason to quit fishing in the winter time. It's just a really good time and Colorado has great ice fishing for a good part of the year. Our high mountain lakes like um, Terriel and some of the high ones freeze very early in the year, stay frozen sometimes almost till June. And lakes at the medium elevations like Lake John, uh, when you typically get good ice here, Typically in that, it's usually the first or second week of December. So you get around after Thanksgiving, and it stays good to all, usually about the, almost the end of March, doesn't That's it? That's correct. It, so you've got uh, good fishing. See so lakes like this, we've got ice fishing, these mountain trout lakes. And then in the middle of the year, you've got the warm water lakes that, depending on the winter, sometimes they freeze, sometimes they don't, but you can have great crappie fishing at lakes like Boyd and uh, some of those lakes. So there's just a, just a wealth of opportunities. And this North Park area with uh, Lake John, the Delaney Lakes, there's a number of other small lakes around here, and there's all the lakes around Cameron Pass, there's Chambers and Joe Wright, uh, just any number of opportunities to catch tons of different fish, and there's lake trout fishing. The ice fishing for lake trout in Colorado is just incredible. Here you go, here you go, I got one here. All right, all right, let me see if I can help you. Oh, there we go. Any size? Oh, I think he, he thinks he's bigger than he is. They're all good. 
Well, it's a nice, nice rainbow. Yeah, I'm gonna start. Boy, you don't want to come in yet. No, you? he doesn't. There we, go. there we go. You don't want to try to grab him while the the tail is facing the other way either. Here, I'll get my gloves off. That's a nice. That's a nice rainbow. Nice, fat, healthy fish. They're. Uh, Nice Lake John Rainbow. Another boy, they're fat, healthy, beautiful. Yeah, fish. they are. For only being in here for six months, they've grown an awful lot. Well, you they're know, good. this just shows you that you know the action kind of stopped in the shack. So we just went out a few yards away, drilled some holes, and started jigging. And you know, it just shows you it pays to get out, move around, and look yep. a little bit. Now that rest, we can go back there and fish again in a little while. But sure, went out, found some fish. Well, I'm gonna get back over to my hole. You get it. You know, whether I'm fishing a river in Colorado or the flats off the Florida Keys, one of my most important accessories are my Habervision polarized sunglasses. Not only do they allow me to see into the water, see the fish, but they protect my eyes from the intense UV. Habervision makes great high-end polarized sunglasses for men and women, and you can avoid the typical retail markup for high-end glasses by logging on to Habervision.com and using the member code FISHTECH. <music> Hey, you know, one of the great things about ice fishing up here at Lake John at the resort is it's, well, it's so difficult to get out in the lake and get it's, off and it's things. It's just uh, incredibly difficult. I mean, I mean, we had to drive all the way down about three blocks to the boat landing, and we had to walk 50 yards out into the lake. And that's where the, that's what, one of the things that makes makes it so nice up here for fishing is that it, it's easy. Oh, the it's access is so great. very easy fishing. We fished all morning. Bill and I were out there, caught some fish. Decided, hey, the lodge is right there, the truck's right there. So we ran up here to get one of Tish's burritos. <laughs> Actually, I had two, so I'm in trouble. Yeah. But I mean, it's just it's having the lodge here, the convenience of Lake John. You know, I, I know people think of ice fishing as just being way out in the cold and isolated. But here you can go out and fish, rent one of your shacks for a couple hours, or just go out and fish for a couple hours. Come in, have a cup of coffee, a snack, maybe a hot burrito, you have them sometimes and uh, just enjoy yourself, warm up, kind of replan, go back out and fish for the rest of the day. That's what we're going to do. We just got back from lunch. I stuck the transducer on. There's a fish down there. I'm going to get down and try to get him on it right away. There he is. Just, I, oh, I love that well, one. You can see him. Get, yeah, you can right, see, him. Right there, you can there see him right down there. Here comes my lure. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. There, there, there he is. There he is. Got him just like that. Oh. Wow, it's a little one. The transducer. Here, let me help you. There we go. Well, he was gonna come. Hold still. Oh. Well, he's that bad, though. No, he's. He, he just doesn't. I gotta grab that. Oh, there we go. Another Lake John. Another yeah. one on the Swedish pimple. Yep. Oh. Okay. We'll have to get the hooks out of him. We'll get him back in in just a second. Ooh, that looks like a nice one. Yeah, he's taking a little line out here. Oh. This one's a little bit better, I think. I just missed one. That's the one I just had. Yeah, you, you brought him in fish. for me. You must have, yep. You must have just brought him fish. in for me. Ooh, that's taking some line. That feels yep. like a good fish. Oh, well, this is such an uncomfortable way to fish. <laughs> oh, nice fish. Nice. You come right through the bottom of the hole there. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, oh, nice one. Can you get him? He's got some pretty color on him. Oh, beautiful. That's a... Oh, if I can get down here to him. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, look at that. There's a nice fish. That's a nice one. That's a beautiful one. Where's your... Uh... Yeah, I got him clipped on me right here. Yeah, that fish is... Between two and a half and three pounds. Boy, I, I tell you what. Um, the roof of the mouth there. Should be easy to unhook. There, there you go. It. Give them a, One more good. A good look at him. One more good look at him. Boy, that's a nice, healthy, a, thick, yeah, just beautiful, beautiful color beautiful on him. fish. And let's get him back in the... That's what we're after. You bet. You know, you're starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> I was... Uh, these fish, it's it. Doing pretty well to keep up with you, but now all of a sudden. 
Yeah, they're the, they're this year's fish, but boy, they are strong. just strong fish. They are. You know, and, and on this light tackle, a 12-inch fish, 14-inch fish will be oh. just, it's everything that a guy wants to do to handle. Oh, a four-pound test line, a light rod. And you kneel down to go get them. That's the important thing. So many people just try to lift them up with their line. That's where they lose them. Oh, if I, if I don't have to touch a fish, I don't even want to. Like I say, you know, we can harvest fish here, but if we don't, I think I'm going to have to, there, just stay right there. On the rat finky again. On the rat finky. Rat finky with a wax worm, huh? Yep. And there you go, there's a... But a, only about a 10 or 11 inch fish, but he thought he was all a 15. Well, you know, Bill, as much as I hate to say it, it's getting kind of towards the end of the day. Yes, it is. We caught a bunch of fish today. Yeah, we had a good day. Good yeah. time, a lot of fish, a lot of fun. Um, I want to thank you for inviting me up here to stay at your place and fish at Lake John. It's a pleasure having you, Terry. We enjoy you coming up here, and, and uh, I always get a good lesson from you when you come up. So. Well, you know, it's, um, it's a great place to come fish. And you've got great facilities, you've got cabins. Yeah. And uh, during the summer months, you've got the restaurant. You do That's have right. some food, some snacks and burritos and things during the That's winter. Right. What else can people expect to get? They can rent these ice fishing shacks? That's right. They can rent the shacks from me. Um, I have auger rental. I do put holes in with my power auger in that for, for the people. We have propane sales, the general store, full line of bait and tackle. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's easy fishing, which is what makes it nice. I mean, oh. it's... Convenient. You're not very far from shore, very not convenient. very far from the, the lodge. Yep. I tell you what, if, you want to, if, if you're an experienced ice fisherman, get up and enjoy Lake John. It's a great place to come ice fishing. But even if you're not, come on up. Let Bill help you get outfitted. Get out. Enjoy the ice fishing. You know, get out here and enjoy Lake John, winter or summer. It's a great lake. Join us next week.